Hey guys, what's up? I'm FSOS here, and today I have for you some Hearthstone. Um, the reason why I'm bringing you this video on Hearthstone, like, it's not going to be a series or anything like that, unless it was obviously massively enjoyed, but, um, the main reason I'm bringing you this video is because, as I play a lot on the server on Team Fortress 2, people, are, I speak of Hearthstone now and again, and people are like, what, what is this game that you're talking of? What is this? I don't understand. It's making no sense to me, so... <laughs> I just thought, right, I'll make a video just to show and explain the sort of levels what Hearthstone is, you know, like, obviously don't get me wrong, I'm not a pro, I don't know everything about the game and all that sort of stuff, but I will just explain a little bit, you know, basics. I will be playing a normal match, well, I'll be playing a ranked match, um... And, obviously, you have your different classes. What your classes mean is, basically, each class will have their own certain hero ability. Um, and, also, they will have their own cards based on what class they are. Like, for example, during this video, I'm going to play Paladin. So, if I click on Paladin, here's all of the Paladin-only cards that I have. And that, that's it for all the Paladin only cards that I have. But you do have neutral cards, which they can be played in any deck at all. Which, yeah, there's, there's quite a few of neutral, quite a few neutral cards. Um, with each deck, you can have a maximum of two of each card per deck. You know, like, so for example, say that I wanted three Sunwalkers, not a possibility, you can only have two. Unless, of course, you've got something like a faceless manipulator, but that's a bit more for the people who understand the game and play the game sort of thing. Faceless manipulator, it can copy another minion sort of thing. Um, now, the yellow that you see on the left-hand side, on the Sunwalker, which says four, that's the attack that it has. And obviously, on the right-hand side, the five, that's its health. And then... The thing that says 6 with a mana crystal behind it, that's how much mana it costs. So basically every turn you will gain 1 mana. Right, let me go into a match and I'll explain as I go along. Right, well then guys, let's get into this and have a match of Hearthstone. Well, the wait time is 0 to 1 second, and I've been in queue for 20 seconds, so I think this is a rigged game. Right, so I'm against a Warlock. Now, these are my free starting cards. Obviously, they are not great, so I don't want them. Obviously, you see the mana cost. Like, these are 1 cost, so I will be able to use them on turn 1, but... They're terrible cards. You, you don't necessarily want a spell for turn one. You want a minion. <gasps> Put the Sword of Justice. That's good. Argent Protector isn't a bad card. Though. I think it's quite a good card. But it's not necessarily great if you don't have another minion to put it on. Because the Battle Cry... Battle Cry means basically when it's summoned you can do whatever the Battle Cry says. Which obviously give a friendly minion Divine Shield. Divine Shield is a shield that allows one hit without receiving any damage. Well met. Let's break the windows. But yeah, this card, the Sword of Justice, this is actually a weapon. And it has uh, 5 durability plus 1 attack, but I will never attack with it. Because uh, obviously it's got a really good effect to it. Whenever you summon a minion, give it plus one one. Whereas obviously that's one attack and one health. And then it loses one durability per minion summoned. Could have attacked with that minion. Oh, by the way, um, whenever I put a minion out, 
unless it has charge, on the first turn I cannot use it because it's like summoning sickness. But if it has charge, then it can attack instantly. But I could have attacked with that, but it's pointless because that's going to kill it. You know, it's going to trade better than it. Like He can use that to attack if he wants, but no, he's going to go straight for me. Which is understandable. I don't really have no big threat on the board. Until now. Now, this is where you can start to gimmick a bit with the Paladin deck. Because now I've just given that Divine Shield. Obviously, that's getting buffed by the Sword of Justice. Now, this can sponge one hit. So, I'll give this plus three attack as well. So, now it's a 4-1. Bang. Straight up trade. And now, yeah, he's probably going to run that into it. But either way, that'll be two for two technically, won't it? No. Yeah, two for two. Because I've used... No, because that isn't a card itself. That is a hero power. So, that was two for one if he does. Oh, no, no, no. He's not going to. I think he's playing Rushdown. Which Rushdown is totally fine by me. Right. This is my responsibility. Not one by watch. And there's another Divine Shield. God, I love Paladin. But the issue is now, I am very, very vulnerable to Hellfire. So if he has a Hellfire, then... Well, I'm in trouble. I bet that's what he has in his hand. No, tw Oh! Twilight Drake. How to deal with this, right? Yeah, we can get a nice trade for this. Now, that was a spell card that I just used to deal free damage straight to something with, obviously, without receiving any damage this myself. My and now, I've just had to trade two minions for that one. But saying that, that was worth it. The battle. The battle. Now, the issue, like I say, with the Twilight Drake is it works with however many cards you've got in your hand. It gets an extra one health because it starts at a 4-1. But, obviously... Warlock, loads of cards in the hand. Wow, this guy likes the Master Swordsmith card. Okay, then. Right. Well, I don't want him to do any damage to my... Stormwind Champion, so instead of attacking him in the face, I am going to trade that, so, oh, what's he got? Siphon Soul. Well played. Now, a card with a Death Rattle, that means when it dies, obviously, the Death Rattle will be set off, which means deal two damage to enemy hero. Hmm. Right, now what I've just used on it, Hand of Protection obviously gives Minion Divine Shield. And I've explained what that is. And then the other one, Blessing of Wisdom. Wisdom. Choose a minion whenever it attacks, draw a card. I can use that on an enemy minion. And then when that enemy minion attacks, I will get a card. But there's no point if I'm getting good trades with my cards anyway. Now this one has a good battle cry. This is why this card is so brilliant. Five mana cost. And you get... A 4-4 four, four plus a 2-2. Two, two. So that's a 6-6 six, six for 5 mana. Technically. And I didn't necessarily explain how the mana crystals work. Every single turn you gain a new empty mana crystal up until 10. And obviously you start on 1. Right. He seems like he has a lot of small minions. So... I could be totally wrong, but at the minute it feels like he doesn't have much of an end game. Sense demons. Right. Hmm. To 
battle! True Silver Champion, brilliant weapon. For justice. That heals me for two, and then I get to hit him for four. And obviously it has two durability, now it has one left, but obviously four damage, brilliant. Now, I may as well hit with this quickly, and then heal my minions up, and myself. There we go. Oh, and I get to draw a card. <gasps> Blessing of Kings. Now, this is going to be fun if he cannot fix this board control issue, because Blessing of Kings, give a minion plus four plus four, so... <laughs> Yeah, I'll start getting big minions if he doesn't fix this. For the crusade. Right. Oh. Throwing out a big minion. Soul fire. Okay, then. He's throwing his cards away. Right, so first thing we want to do in this situation is give this guy Blessing of Kings and then kill that. Then we'd like to kill that, I suspect. And let's draw a card, why not? Another True Silver Champion, that is fantastic. Oh, and another card, I totally forgot about that. I keep forgetting that this guy has got that enchantment on. Look how many cards I'm getting. Why has this warlock not killed it? Right, well, I may as well just uh, heal myself for two and hit him in the face. I don't usually like to waste an attack of a weapon. Because obviously, especially a true silver champion, you only get two hits. But as I have an extra true silver champion in my hand, why not? May as well get more damage on him. Because if he uses his life tap hero ability, he, he takes damage to draw a card. So... The lower his health is, the less likely it is that he's going to want to do it. Oh. Well played. Alright, well let's just throw out everything that we can. Let's uh, go ahead and just use this on him. Because we like that. Oh, six! <laughs> GG. And, well guys, that is Hearthstone. It's a game all about beating each other up with cards, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, obviously, if I've explained it well enough for you guys to understand the sort of basics of the game. You know, like, not. I, I didn't want to explain anything too advanced or anything along those lines. But I just wanted the guys who usually ask me, oh, what is this game? What's the game that you're speaking of and whatnot? Now, you should know through this video, so. I hope you guys have enjoyed anyway. If you did, a uh, like and a comment is highly appreciated. And if you're not already subscribed, be epic, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you do like the look of the Hearthstone game, um, all you need is a Battle.net account with Blizzard, and then you can download the game as it's free to play, and it recently went into open beta. So, if you like the look of the game, then it's free. Anyway, I've been Hermes Source, and until next time, 